Okay, day two, um, sorry, day three, January 27th. There we have Leah, how are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. I good. find you. I'm doing great. I'm oh, the first. No. You are, yes, today you are the first. Wow, excellent. Yeah, of course it is. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And how was your day today, Leah? What did you do? Hey, it was very good. I was in my home and I I made any um, many things or oh, anything. Muchas <laughs> cosas. Many things. Many things. Many things. Many things. Ah yes. yes, when you are in the house, there are so many things to do, right? Yes, always. It's, mm -hmm. it's more hard. Yes, it's harder. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because uh, the 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 people think, oh, it's nice to work from home or it's nice to do uh, to be, but in reality. No, 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 it's it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work to be from home, yeah. Two works, home works and the office work. Yes, housework. Housework, housework yes, mm -hmm. or chores, yes. Always so many things. All right, hey, it's great. Everybody's coming in. I see we have a lot of people joining us, little by little. All right. Okay. Everybody have a good day today. Hey, good evening. Yes. Good evening, yes. Luis. Good evening. Yeah. 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 I I have a very nice day. Okay. All right. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Ricardo, how about you? How was your day? Good evening. Um, everything is is okay. It's uh, hard, but it's okay. A little hard, but okay, right? Yeah. This is the... A little hard. Yeah, we were talking with Leah that, you know, sometimes really to it's nice to be at home because, because it's nice, but it's work. It's a lot of work to do in the house. Because, for example, for me, before I used to go to work and I don't have to prepare lunch because... I buy the lunch in the cafeteria. I go. I only go and the, my time for lunch is to eat. But now in the house, I have to work. I have to prepare. I have to do the project. I have to clean. Then later, I mean, it's it's a lot of things. Okay. A lot of things to get done. I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In and my so, case, I work. I go to the work. Uh, uh, ah, the office. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And what do you think, Ricardo? You do you, did you have home office last year? No. No, never. You never have home mm. office. Uh, never. Ah, okay. Because I work in the construction. Oh, okay. Yeah, with, with in in this in this situation, it's very difficult to <laughs> to work at a home office if you are in construction. Yeah, <laughs> you, can, you can do it uh, from home. No, I think I think it's impossible. Yeah, I'm, I mean, that's maybe, right. Maybe the, 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 I don't know, maybe the engineer or, or, or something for some one day or two days, but they have to inspect, they have to see. So I don't know. I think it's almost impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Well, I'm glad everybody else joined us. It sounds like we have, uh, we are ready. We are excited, excited to finish the day at least. That is the important. We have the our activities. Today we are looking at vocabulary. Yesterday we finished the relative pronouns. Um, if we remember, we finished yesterday with who and that. Are there any questions, anything that you're not sure about? Um, I, I hope everybody's working in the platform because if not, if you wait and accumulate the platform later, I think many of you know the experience. <gasps> it's a lot to complete. It's a lot to complete. It's better in the class together. Try to, if we are working in the activity in the moment, try to complete it. It's easier. 
But before we continue with today's uh, content, and which is the vocabulary, remember to describe people. Uh, are there any questions from the relative pronouns? Those are the words with who or that. It's okay? Hey, all right. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Blanca, did you have a question? Teacher, excuse me. No, no, no question. Ah, okay, okay, no problem, making sure. All right, great. Well, yesterday we saw some vocabulary, um, quite a bit of vocabulary actually, and we just want to review it and make sure that everybody understands what it means, okay? So let me share my screen with you. Just one second. Okay, so here we have many different things, right? Um, like here, the question is, uh, what is the best uh, uh, way to describe Andrea, okay? And Andrea is just a, a, a person, it's not a real Andrea, okay? But we use many words like egotistical, stingy, sociable, easygoing, okay? So, or the best way to describe uh, James or the best way to describe Mr. Johnson. And these are the ways when they say, uh, how would you describe them? Or what are they like? What is he like? What is she like, okay? Many times they're not asking you what about the physical characteristics? They're asking you about their personality. Are they temperamental? Are they angry? Are they kind? Are they nice? Are they generous? Are they stingy? That is what they're asking you, okay? So in our platform, this is 1.6. I'm going to take a picture and put into the WhatsApp group also in case you are not on the computer and you don't have access to it. Um, you can still see the images or the pictures you can take a look at uh, in the WhatsApp group. Hang on, let's try to take it. Okay, so what are we gonna do with our partners? Uh, we are going to practice asking and answering and describing people that we know. For example, uh, you know, how is your boss? Or how are your coworker? How is your friend? How, how is your brother, your sister, okay? We're gonna practice describing these. Uh, in this moment, we are not going to do the exercise 1.7. We only want to make sure that those vocabularies egotistical, stingy, sociable, easygoing, temperamental, all of that vocabulary is clear. That's the first. We want to make sure that it's clear, that we pronounce correctly, that we understand how to use it, okay? Remember that whenever we use, uh, and you can see in all of the sentences, whenever we use a description, we use the verb be. That means for he, she, it is, right? Lea is. Luis is, it is, but for uh, they, we, you, okay, are, we are, you are, they are, okay? And of course, if you describe yourself, I am, okay. All right, so we're gonna make a few partners, uh, a few groups, and we're gonna try to just practice. Oh, you know, uh, what is your boss like? What is your brother like? What is your sister like? And even if you don't know, maybe you don't have, it's okay. You, you can create the conversation. You can create whatever personality you want, okay? So for example, my best friend, I don't have to wait. I can describe my best friend. My best friend is funny. He is, he is outgoing. He is very generous, um, courageous, you know whatever you like, okay? This is number one, okay? The second part for our conversation, part two is why, okay? Oh, he is very funny because he is always telling jokes and people are laughing. He is very generous because when he has extra, he, uh, extra money, extra uh, things, extra clothes, he donates and he gives to the people that need it. That is the idea not only the vocabulary, but the vocabulary in context. And we put the two, right? The vocabulary, the person, the description, the personality, and why. So when they say, 
Okay, Eduardo, tell me about yourself. Uh, Heidi, tell me about yourself. In the job interview, you say, I am generous, I am nice, I am intelligent. Why? But you don't wait for the question why. You put in the same sentence what you are, the description, and the example together. It's okay? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Eduardo, did you have a question? No? Okay. All right. Well, then let's make our groups and let's practice. Remember, it's in the WhatsApp or it's in uh, the computer 1.6 in the platform. Blanca, are you okay? Or to start right now? You start with your boss. You're ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. How many times do you study English in in the every day? Me or Tatiana? Uh, the boss, uh, the first Tatiana and the second Anna. Okay, repeat the, the question. Uh -huh. One point six. Uh huh. Okay. And you, Anna? And yes, I I am. I practice in Duolingo in the platform. In the cell phone? Or in the telephone? In the, pla in a, in the platform, the English comparative. Okay. Yes, I practice too. And, and the platform, but in necessary, uh, for example, in this uh, classroom, the the form free to talking about for to practice, uh, because it's necessary for the listen many audios or to watch movie. Um, in English, uh, similar to the Cartoon Network or um, the, the books for the children, in, in my mm -hmm. case, or, or, or for me, because it's, a, it's, it's a more difficult. And a scenic panic with to show results in, in, in a, another people, for example. Okay, very good. And we need uh, to describe the person yeah. or no? Yes. yes. Uh, okay. Okay. In my case, my boss is very sociable and and sometimes easy going but is a very good person. If with the, uh, how uh, many, sometimes, some one def, def, uh, defectos, but all the, oh, all the people we, we have. Okay. In, in your job and, Anna and Tatiana, uh, is necessary to talking about uh, another American people uh, whenever issues or only for the work? 
No, in my case, no. Sometimes, um, I am 23 years old. Um, I am studying English. Um, the English Corporative, and uh, I am a person sociable, in sociable, in social, in social. Okay. okay. Um, because I don't like uh, watch the the I don't know so social social I don't know what is the name red social oh, really? social mm. networks social networks language um okay I am very easy going okay okay continue okay hello my name is Paul Perdomo I'm from Sulutan yes huh you have child? Children. Child. Child. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes, I, I am married. Um, I, ha I have a, a little boy. Uh, about 10 years old, right? Yeah. I have a, a little patient, patient with him, uh, to talk with him. Uh, when, uh, during the, with this pandemic, uh, I, I was investing a lot of time with him. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Um, what more? Uh, yeah. Why my personality is uh, that way? Uh, maybe I suppose my mother is uh, is very uh, uh, the balance emotional. He very take it easy too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and have you always been like this? Uh huh. Maybe. <laughs> 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 yeah, my, I, I don't know. Uh, how do you say herencia, teacher? <laughs> Very yeah. fish. Yes, her inheritance. Did they inherit? <laughs> yeah. Yes. ADN. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. DNA. Yes. How, DNA. How uh -huh. How do we say uh, the second? How do you say? The second. Uh, the second word, egotistical. I don't know how egotistical to say that. Ah, this the, is the uh, pronunciation that is correct. E egotistical. Correct. That is correct. Uh, egotistical. Egotistical. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Egotistical. Yes. E e egocentrical, right? Or, or only the ego? Ego. Egocentrical. Ego. Egocentrical, mm -hmm. right? Egocentrical. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I don't know. What about you, Jocelyn? Or... Hey, Guillermo. Mm -hmm. Hi, sir. No problem, no problem. Eduardo, can you hear us? I think he can. Yeah. He, he has maybe problems with the audio. Yeah, Eduardo, if you want, turn off the camera. Turn off the camera and it makes the, it makes the audio faster. It makes the uh, it gives you uh -huh. more go more internet. Sometimes it's like that. Yes, only turning off the camera. No, I don't hear you. I see the I see your mouth. It moves, but I don't I I don't hear anything. Yeah, I, I realized that before. Uh, maybe he can access the the audio. Mm hmm. Maybe you have a problem with the microphone. Mm hmm. No, not at all. Yeah, uh, I know. Uh-huh. 
is because I see Eduardo, he's speaking. I see the mouth mm -hmm. moving, but but I don't hear anything. Yeah, he's talking right now. Yeah. yeah but we can hear, hear yeah. him. Uh, here, uh, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, OK, teacher. There you go, Eduardo. <laughs> yes. That's it. Brother That's, technique. Yeah, 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 it happens. That's why I, I sometimes you want to take the computer and ah! <laughs> Yeah. Too many Thank times. You. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Now you are now you are functioning. All right. Excellent. Okay. Um. <laughs> but she. The, but they are. Um. It's all in my life. I I I, I love him. I love them. Um. Mm -hmm. The Me first. Uh, is strong. Uh, um. She likes uh, to swimming. She likes. Uh, to play basketball, like me, um, <laughs> and the little, the little is uh, she likes dancing, um, <laughs> gymnasia. I have to say mm -hmm. gymnasia teacher. Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Uh, she she, she loves she love gymnastics. Um, She's funny. Uh, uh, she always uh, make a joke uh, with her her sister and with us. Um, well, what else? What else? Um, and she sometimes uh, it's a problem when she has to make the homework. <laughs> but it, they are great. <laughs> it's the normal. It's the normal with the homework. The <laughs> but in my case, the girl is very is very speedy in mind, but is is very student. Is very applicate, and the boy is very different. <laughs> <laughs> the boys quickly, quick. <laughs> <laughs> and he slowly <laughs> he has all time <laughs> and, and it's very distraído how do you say distraído distracted distracted it's very distracted but if you say come on go to playstation okay <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, oh, 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 let's go go to the movie. Go, let's go to the movies home. The first in the in the first line. <laughs> but in the student is very. Please, please, quickly. But I don't know. It's, it's personality. It is is are different between between them yeah. okay okay um well Okay, are there any questions about the vocabulary, the usage? No, it's okay. No. Any words that you're not clear? Any words that are vocabulary that you're not sure? I have a question. Yes, Raul. In this part of lesson, I'm sorry, and the uh, the uh, the last class, I'm uh, I don't join I don't have joined, but I uh, I have a confusion with the to the URL. Uh, well, and in this part, the lesson is the is unique to use the the verb which in the question, or do you use other or the adjective. We used who or that. Oh, you, okay. No, no, which, who or that. 
who we use for people and mm -hmm. that we use for both people and things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Okay. Well, in that case, now we are going to, I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our partners, which is going to be 1.7 and 1.8. Okay. So with 1.7, uh, it's in our platform. It, we are going to, now that we are clear with the vocabulary and the meaning, we are going to read and we are going to choose. Okay. What would we have? What is the best way that we can describe these people? Okay. Now, this is based on the audio program. So because of this, we are going to listen to the audio program completely. And then we can, then it's going to be easier for you and your partners to answer. Okay. So first let's listen. And then you're going to answer the exercise 1.7 and 1.8. Okay. So what are we listening for? One more time. We are listening. What is the best way to describe Andrea? What best is what statement best describes James and what statement best describes Mr. Johnson. So listen so that with your partners, you can answer this 1.7. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like... ...to describe personal characteristics. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. You'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easy. person is someone who doesn't An egotistical person is... Okay. Bye. Anna, can you put your microphone on mute, please? Thank you. Or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties. 
and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast! Yeah, he's a great cook too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, "It's nothing, no big deal." Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager, Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay. So, with that information, now with your partners, we're going to answer one point seven, and you're going to answer writing. Okay. So, with your partners, read, choose your statements, and also put in a description on one point eight. Any questions? Okay, perfect. Can you chat him? Okay, which statement best describe Andrea? Uh -huh. no. I remember is is one is so is is egoist and stingy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Ego egotistical and stingy. E egotistical. Ego egotistical. Yes. Ego. Egotistical and stingy. Jane is and stingy. Mm -hmm. It's correct. Yeah, the pronunciation is correct, yes. Egotistical and stingy. Okay. The second, I remember James is who sociable and ego easy going. Paste. Voy a entrar entonces. The lesson, the lesson 1.7. La lección 1.7. Ok, es el 1.7, ¿verdad? Sí. Exacto. Número 1.7. Sí. Bien, voy a tratar de hablar en inglés y español. <laughs> It's okay. better in English. Better in English. <laughs> sí, es que no, no todos tenemos aquí ahorita así como para decirlo full, full inglés. Mm -hmm. Ok. Well, I'm trying to explain English. Well, uh, uh, indication of the lesson 1.7 is uh, personality. Well, the audio in the program section 1.6, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I have a lot of, I have been sleepy. <laughs> Do sound like that. Okay. Uh. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not difficult. I think Marie, right? 
<laughs> but I I under I understood the um, the um, how how can I say this <laughs> the personality of Andrea in the audio. I I thought that he was egotistical, but I have difficult with Mr. Johnson. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. I uh -huh. I was thinking he. Uh, you describe one family. Guillermo? Yeah. I, uh -huh. I think Eduardo had a question for you. Uh, uh, I didn't hear. Mm -hmm. Could you repeat the question? And you describe one family uh, or one best friend. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Is my life itself. <laughs> <laughs> your best friend is your wife. Uh, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> um, well, um, yeah, I, I'm talking about her. Um, <laughs> and she's a, uh, she's a. Uh, I'm very host, hon honest, and I can confiar, I can true. trust, I can trust, I can trust in her, and she she like to listen to me, and and always she has she has time to to. Um, talking with me about a problem, about a hobbies or everything. I think uh, the, the relationship is, is good. And I am uh, de la misma manera. The same way? I'm, I'm the same way with her. That's all. Mm -hmm. And you, Jorge? Um, in my case, uh, my best friend is. Uh, well, my best friend was a, a high school classmate, and, and he died, and in discussion and 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 security agent. Uh, I remember his. He was very sociable, and the help of people. And he liked to give me advice on some problems. This is a very person. I remember. Okay. Um, great. Um, In your case, yeah. teacher. <laughs> oh, my best friend. Oof. Mm. Don't I don't have. <laughs> yes, yes, I have my, my best friend. Maybe now for more than 30 years we were we were little to we were we were maybe nine ten years old when we met more than 30 years and we have we have had fights and we have had problems and we have had uh celebrations and we have had mm -hmm. the for example he got married and got divorced and we have children <laughs> and we experience a lot he's very a very nice guy very very funny um, he's very, very caring. He, he always tries to make the people feel comfortable. If you go to his house, are you okay? Do you want something? Or, or if you need help, how can I help you? What can I do? He's very, very nice, very nice person. Good. Right. No. In my case, uh, almost uh, never see, see us. Uh, no, casi no nos vemos. Uh-huh, we never see. 
We never see each other. Never see. But when, but sometimes it's, um, talking with talking with phone, or, I don't know, but almost never see. Mm -hmm. It COVID. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> uh huh, exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Is the other there is the reason, Leah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a reason, yes. <laughs> good, good. Okay. Good, I, I hope, I, I think most of you had the opportunity to finish the choosing the, the three people and then also uh, talking about your best friend. Are there any questions, any uh, vocabulary that you wanted to know or anything you want to hear the pronunciation? Okay. Uh, ah, yes, yes. It's okay, teacher. I like. It's okay. It's okay. All right. The dynamic. Okay, I'm glad, Pedro. I'm glad you like. Is the idea we need to to practice and and see and go back and forth. Okay. Yes, it's necessary. <laughs> okay. Good. Uh, no, uh, teacher. That exercise, Andrea James and Mr. Johnson, is no no easy uh, to understand the first time for me, right? Uh, yeah, it, it was necessary uh, to listen maybe three or four times to to, to understand, Andrea. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And it's okay, Luis. Sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you understand the first time. And sometimes you understand the fourth time. You have to listen four times or three times. It's okay. That's that's the objective of the class is for you to practice. And because if I tell you, ah, the answer is B, but no. you it doesn't help you. You don't learn. It's yeah. better, it's better you listen three, four times, but you understand. Because and that and that exercise done doesn't mention the easygoing and temperamental. No, no, no. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. On the, it's very important to understand uh, in, implicit. Uh, Correct. The, Correct. The personality. Uh -huh. Yes, and this is the this is the same for many times for when you have conversations or when the people say something. Okay. You, you, they don't say I am sad or I have bad or, or, or whatever, but you have to understand from the context, what is the situation? Okay. Uh -huh. okay. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, show you our next video. Our next topic is, is just this. Um, now we are on 1.10, which is clauses with it and when. Okay, these are called adverbial clauses, but really it's just we're going to watch the small video and then I'll explain to make sure that you understand it. Hello everyone. In this class you'll learn how to express likes and dislikes and you'll also learn how to express neutral things. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, you want to express things that you like. Um, I'm going to use an analogy of a birthday. Right? So a uh, quick example. I like it when my friends give me gifts for my birthday. I don't like it when my friends forget about my birthday. There, I just express the likes and dislikes, and I also want to be neutral about certain things. So, in order to do that, I'm going to use expressions such as, I don't mind it when my friends arrive late to a party. So, let's do the following. First, the first thing that we should learn or that we should become familiar with is some uh, vocabulary, okay? Uh, and so, let me do just that. Let me just present this quick vocabulary. If you notice, I've highlighted in yellow the positive. So for things that you like, you'll use expressions such as, I like it, I love it. When you're neutral about something, you'll use expressions such as, I don't mind it. 
And when you want to express things that you don't like, then in that case, you'll use expressions such as, I don't like it, I can't stand it, I hate it. So let me just quickly present the structure and how to formulate this kind of complex sentences. So when we say clauses with it and then we say clauses with when, well, really what we're saying is that we want to express things that we like, that we don't like, or that we're neutral about at any given situation. So let me just present the structure here. What we want to do is we want to use clauses with it and then adverbial clauses with when. Uh, and we do this in order to express the things that we like, the things that we don't like, or the things that we might be neutral about. So as I mentioned at the beginning, we ha I had a, a couple of examples for you. I'll just continue on with making more examples. So, so what kind of things do you like? Well. Um, in order to formulate this sentence, to express that idea, we're going to have a subject. In this case, I'm just going to say I. The subject could be any other subject, by the way. Um, I use a verb such as like, so I say I like it, and that's my clause with it. And then uh, the next part, it continues with when. This is the situation, um, when. All right, so let me just make that quick sentence there. So I like it when someone gives me a compliment. This is something that I like. As you can see, we have the first part of the sentence. Is okay, so I think we have a good understanding, a good, a good introduction to what he is saying. Just about giving your opinion, uh, giving uh, what you think about, what you like, what you don't like. This is the first part. Okay, that's where uh, the first part of the clause is. That's where you say, I like it, I don't like it, I don't mind, I hate it, I enjoy it. That's That it is the reference to the second part of the clause. So here, when he says, I like it, this it that this. is there is talking about all of this. Someone gives me a compliment. That is the it. That is what he likes. Okay. And the same for the other situations. Okay, you can have it uh, in the same for, uh, let's see here, if it's a negative, uh, I don't like it when someone gives me a compliment, okay, maybe it, like in this situation, okay, it's only for giving your opinion. So the first part is, I like, I don't like, I enjoy, I don't enjoy, and then we use the word when. We use when because this is the the situation okay that's kind of like the 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 general ideas okay so when he said at the beginning he says oh i like it when my friends give me presents okay or i i i don't like it when the teacher uh, uh, volunteers me okay that's okay but the first part is giving your opinion what is what do you think okay we have the three forms we have the positive i like i enjoy right i love we have the neutral um i don't mind it's all the same okay and then we have the negative i can't stand it i hate it i don't like it and then you give what is the topic that you are talking about okay is that so so is that okay or any questions up to there okay it's okay it's okay it's okay teacher okay all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and we're gonna practice a little bit of it okay so what do you love what don't you love uh, what do you like okay how do you feel okay so here for this one we have we have just enough time for us to i think to finish with our partner because there's only a few situations so for this one is on 1.11 if you don't have your uh like one more time if you don't have it i put it into the if you don't have your computer i'll put it into the whatsapp group that way you can see it there 
okay the expressions that you use okay those are the common expressions and i'll share with you my screen as well so that it's clear so the common expressions that we have is i love it which is positive i can't stand it which is negative it makes me happy positive it bothers me negative i don't like it negative is too different there is not the same okay it's not it bothers me i don't like it no it's supposed to be two sentences two expressions the same for the next ones it embarrasses me okay it doesn't bother me it embarrasses me is negative it doesn't bother me is neutral it really upsets me is uh, negative and i don't mind is neutral and with those situations, you're just going to talk about what you're going to complete it with your idea, whatever you want. You don't have to do the other part, the, the bottom part. We're not going to do that in this moment. Right now, we're only going to do the top part and you complete for how do you feel about different situations. Okay, here are many different situations. And then you have when someone gives me, sorry about that. When someone gives me a compliment, when somebody uh, tells you something, how do you feel about those different situations? Well, let me change that. Okay, so let's go to our groups and let's try to do those. Remember, you're going to use the word when. I like it when, I love it when, I don't mind it when, and then the situation. Are you okay, Blanca? Sí, uno once. Ah, okay. Number one. Here we go. Ajá, uno punto once, ajá. Okay. Moment, please. Okay. Un número. Number one thing, one hearing. Okay. No, let you check. Okay. Do you have? Do you have? Um, how do you feel about this sit situation? Situation. Yes. Okay. Uh, 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 when someone someone give me a compliment on my clothes. Y, y arriba está la explicación, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, uh, mm -hmm, ya entendí. I, I like it. I love it. Eso es lo que vamos a ir poniendo aquí. I love it. Um, uh, I like I it. Don't, I don't. I don't. I have... Ok. Yes. Ok. Okay. okay, when someone gives me a compliment on my clothes. Okay. Um, yeah, it makes me happy when someone gave me a gift on my birthday. I, I don't know. What, what happened with you? In the same situation. Huh? In the same situation. And the same, or, or if you have another uh, phrase? I was uh. thinking yeah, it embarrasses me when a friend treats me to dinner. Okay. Okay. And, and why? In, in...
makes me happy. The first. Yeah. What about so? Yeah. The second. Okay. Maybe. Uh -huh. The second. The second. Uh, when people are there, um, I can. See. Um. When people are. Uh -huh. <laughs> see it. I see it. Uh, I can stand it and embarrass me and doesn't bother me. Um, what does mean bother? It bother me. Do you know it? It it means it affects you that you don't like it. This is it bothers me. It's something you don't like. Oh, okay. It's the same I don't like. It's similar I don't like, yes. Similar, okay, mm -hmm. thanks. Thanks, no. Roger. Okay, it bothers me. When people call me late at night. I hate. When people... Mm, <laughs> oh, I don't I like. Hate. No. <laughs> yes. Um, it's true. <laughs> in my case, no. Oh. Wow, guys, I didn't realize how fast it is. It's already 10 o'clock. It's time for us to relax, to uh, enjoy our night, eat something, go to bed. But tomorrow we are going to continue with this topic and finishing this unit. Okay. okay. So tomorrow we're going to be. Okay. Tomorrow thank we'll, you. we'll begin with this and finish. Yeah, okay. thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, thank have you, a nice teacher. night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Have a nice night. Good 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 night.